Now, we are no stranger to the kick platform, the kick streamers, and the degenerate stuff that they do. The second the kick CEO came and told all the Twitch streamers that they can come to our platform and they can do whatever the hell they want without anything b being filtered. The more degenerate, the better. Even when Dr. Disrespect a few days ago asked for $50 million to join the kick platform, the kick CEO was like, even though your name is Dr. Disrespect, you are not disrespectful enough. You are a wholesome type of disrespect. We want a degenerate per person who's going to embarrass themselves in front of millions of people. Just yesterday, yet again, Natalie Reynolds, the streamer, we made videos about multiple times for doing some degenerate, embarrassing stuff, has come to light again and she's been going under some controversy after she scammed an old person into jumping into water and not helping them now the internet has gone he like head over heels spicing things up to the max and surprisingly this time i think the internet is just overreacting to this situation let's go watch the video i'm gonna share my opinions about it Every they're all saying you're sexy and shit really yeah they're all saying they're all saying w woman she's thick as well, she's so I hot do you know where the RFID scanner is? Because I'm trying to find this R RFID scanner. Where? And I have to kayak. He, uh, Ice Battalion told me you swim in the water. You should jump in the water right now. Just start swimming and you'll find it. Would you do that? What? You should what? jump in the water to find it for me. Well, Please. why don't you jump in with me? I'll give you 20 bucks. Now, let me give you a little bit of context about this whole situation. How they ended up here. There has been a hunger game type of game manhunt for someone called Action Man and Ice Poseidon. The other kick streamers they have like hundreds of people looking for them and whoever finds them finds a price and natalie randomly ended on this lake looking for clues and she came across this apparently homeless person and thought this would be a perfect opportunity to make some cool content out of it get some clips so twitter will start talking about it and have a laugh 20 bucks yeah that's a that's a, a w uh no, that's on, a good deal 20 bucks Five. yeah so you go in no, you gotta go in you go me. in you try to find the scanner Jumping me. I'll jump in after you. Let's do it. I dare you. You jump in and I'll jump in right after you. No, you won't. Yes, I will. You, you will not. Yes, I will. Take I off your clothes then. You want me to take off my yeah, clothes? Yeah, yeah. You want to see me naked? Yeah. You should just jump in right now. But I'm going to jump in with my shoes on. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Oh! Wait, what the fuck? Did you see her ass? What? Oh, I... You said it was okay. You said you wanted to swim. You told me to jump in. I didn't tell you to jump in. Yes, yeah, you did. Yes. You said uh, you were gonna thank you guys. We're going to have you guys get off the top. Wait, who is that? <laughs> now i was one of the first few people who first watched the video the second it came out because i have no life and i spend most of my time on twitter and i live in my man cave but not the point as i was drinking my tea i wanted to go in the comments and i wanted to see what the hell was going on there the comments were fucking brutal she should be arrested she's a horrible horrible human being where she needs to have charges against her she almost killed her I can't believe it. She tells her to jump inside and she jumped inside and she just left her there. And she was drowning because she could not swim. When I first saw this video, I thought like, okay, someone tells you to jump off a fucking bridge. Do you jump off a fucking bridge? I didn't think much off of it, but then I realized that a lot of Twitter pages and YouTubers are talking about the situation. I don't really want to make a video about it, but I, I thought since it got so huge, let me come out and share my opinion on this. People are saying she told her to jump. She took advantage of a homeless person. The second she jumped, she started laughing and she started running away as she was drowning because apparently she said that she cannot swim. Let me put on a quote on quote on that. She, the woman said that she cannot sl swim. She can only bloat. I can't swim. I can only bloat. And everyone's saying she told her to jump and she left her to die. This is where I come in and say that is not a person who looks like she's dying. Okay. Why? Because two people who are not from her stream came after that. And, she, you know, the homeless woman was not alone in the lake and was not like suffering and dying and suffocating she was talking normally she wasn't even panicking and there were two people there to help her now i'm not saying she's a fucking saint she's a good person no she's an absolute horrible person she shouldn't have uh take advantage of uh, this homeless person to to jump in the lake to make content out of her to use her to scam her in any way but this wasn't really a big deal for people to spice things up and say oh she is dying because end of the day the homeless person is an adult she makes her own choices now if natalie came and 
pushed her into a lake laid hands on her not with her words laid hands on her absolutely yes she should be arrested but she only used her, her words and she jumped there by herself if we're going to put people in jail for telling someone to jump off a bridge and they actually do then kim star should absolutely be arrested for this because of the incident that happened a few years ago where he told this youtuber to unalive yourself and he actually did i can't Oh, she Dude, might no. literally die. No. no, stop. Seriously, don't stop. Please, you're actually freaking me out. No, please. Please, God. No, she's, she's floating. I'm going to fucking kill no. myself. She says she's drowning. Oh. oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Dude, Natalie. Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know. She says she's drowning. She says she's drowning. I think you literally just murdered the lady. No, I didn't. I swear. Now, what got people even more mad is because they're saying, oh, it's bad. And then they're laughing and going away. And in the back of their head, 100%, they're like, oh, this is a good viral clip that we got. I think the reason why everyone's like deeply, deeply hating on her and saying she should be jailed and she's a criminal is because she's just a very unlikable person. Now, the reason why this goof squad is leaving is because she already got the help, help that she needed needed even though afterwards the fire truck came and people were like oh my god this is actually serious it's not staged the fire truck probably just came and they were like oh she got the help she needed check the vitals you're good to go take care peace and what was natalie's response to all of this she was like the lady wanted to swim they told me to leave and stop filming that's why we left and she got the help she needed and it's fine stop dragging shit allah i don't know why she added allah into this but yeah, okay, sure. This is another thing she had to say. But you let her drown, okay, whatever. I didn't, she's not dead. I didn't make her drown. She wasn't drowning. If you guys were, you know, actually had a brain, you'd be able to see that she's floating in the water, swimming perfectly fine. And she's saying she's drowning because she's on drugs. Like Now, does this make her a horrible human being? Absolutely, yes. She's done it before. She basically no one likes her on the internet she's done multiple multiple degenerate stuff like fake fake kidnapping which it turned out to be all staged the painting on her body and she went to the gym and she got confronted she's been into a lot of controversy because she is the kick streamer who is going to think outside the box and she is going to make it out there to be one of the top streamers do i like her fuck no she's a very horrible person she does horrible things and she is unfunny not entertaining at all and why do i keep talking about her because people like her do dumb shit on the internet embarrass themselves and i monetize off of it it is totally halal to take advantage of this situation now like i said in the title of the video she's a horrible person yes indeed but she's not a criminal in this situation her only crime is being extremely unlikable and being extremely cringe but i have no doubt in the future she's going to think outside the box and uh, some cr criminal charges can come against her even in this situation if she can actually lawyer up and press charges maybe there can be a case i don't know let's find out i guess we'll see in the future i have no doubt that this won't be the last time i talk about her so stay tuned let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one